creepiness. Oh, here we go. Tactical time dilation. All right. <laughs> Just add water to rehydrate your water. Indeed, hibernation complications detected. Due to complications stemming from being rev revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Presses, pressing the tactical time dilation, TTD button, slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving in attacks drain it faster. The meter refreshes slowly over time. Q is what it is. All right. Hello, little little rat things. Oh, that was Hawthorne's ship that that came in illegally. <laughs> All right. These are the marauders. <laughs> and there's a dude there. Oh, there's a mouse. I don't want to shoot it while the mouse is there. Go away, mouse. Wait for it. Wait for it. They're out of the way. And... <laughs> Good job, Sprat. <laughs> I'm still sneaking. There's apparently... Oh, oh crap. Let's go into super stealthy mode and hit the guy in the head a few times. Oh, down he goes. All right. I have to say, this is this is 100% on low graphic settings and it looks really good. Sorry, <laughs> but it does. A saber. Ew. I take that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I've, I, I've, I've joined the dark side now, I think. <laughs> Get some of his noms. Hacking and picking locks. Oh, now we're talking. Vats, indeed. Um, your hacking and picking locks pick, lock pick skills help you get into places where you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. Not <laughs> bypass shunts. <laughs> If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Okay. So... I didn't see it. What the... Oh, I need five mag picks to open that thing? Okay. Well, I, I guess I just need to keep on looking. Oh, let's take some bread as well. Oh, there's another one. There aren't any other dudes nearby, are there? There, there could be. I should be careful. And in fact, I wanted to equip that uh, melee weapon, but I should have enough mag picks now. Yep. All right. Pick. Oh, and I just... Five seconds. So I'm terrible at picking locks. So it takes me a while to... Ooh, a telescoping staff. Yeah. Staff. And I now have it. So actually, what I'm going to do is kind of crouch down back here a bit. We have found a new weapon. Weapon switch button. Is that... Oh. But I need to put that on my meter or something? Well, no. Is it I for inventory? Weapon management. TNL weapon safety training. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. Okay, fair enough. So I've got a saber, sentry saber, spacer's choice. <laughs> They're all spacer's choice. Everything's going to be spacer's choice. The DPS on these is kind of high and low. But that doesn't mean that it does low damage. Yeah, look, the, this one does 51. This one does 36. But it's just you can swing this one faster. Standard issue to military recruits who are taught swordplay before being taught ranged combat. Coated with spacer's choice. Patented never dull finish. This blade stays durable for at least 20 swings. <laughs> and it doesn't sell for much. This actually sells for more. And I wonder what the little smash symbol is up here. Does that so, just mean weapon or something? Compare. Compare. Oh, cool. So I can actually compare the two. And I can inspect them as well. Just by clicking on it. 
and you can rotate the items. Ha! <laughs> That's nice. And you get, wow, damage per minute and stuff. Three, two, two, one. All right, let's inspect this. Damage per minute is actually still more. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So I'll uncompare that. But I still am interested in doing this because I want to just take them down in one or two hits. I don't want to keep swinging at them. Million ranged weapons have item levels. The higher the number, the better the weapon. Break down unwanted weapons into parts that you can use to repair others. And this has a 100% condition on both of them. So let's put this up here. Might as well put that up there too. We've got ammo, heavy ammo, energy, cell ammo, which we have zero of though, each of those. Okay. Armor management, which I don't have any armor to speak of. It's already at 99.5%. Consumables, which plus 200% natural health regen lasts two minutes. Okay. Stimpak just heals you 25% over two seconds. So that's like a quick heal. This emergency medicinal inhaler. Whoa. Okay. 10 uses. Zero G brew. <laughs> Spacer's choice. All right. So what was it? It was center click. And I can switch to this. <laughs> it even says Spacer's choice on the head. Uses controls to attack and block. Most melee weapons can perform three swing combos. All melee weapons can block. So there's block. Okay, that's if I hold and swing. If I just click. Okay, so that that's just me constantly clicking. I wonder if it's different for like a wind up attack on the on, on these guys. Let let's do a little bit of a sneak. Oh, there's a dude. What's he got? Piecemeal mining helmet. Uh, let's take all. And actually, no, I want to go to my inventory, go to the armor, and see if I can equip this. Now, I have it set so that the helmets are not visible, but that gave me a little bit more armor. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Because I, I like seeing the character faces. All right, there's something going on down there, and I don't know what it is. I like how you can actually see through the grass that you're in. Oh, there's a dude. Two dudes. That's not good. And I don't have any explosive weapons. <laughs> so I wonder if I can sneak up on them and take one of them out. Uh, I gotta wait now, because this... Actually, I'm gonna try. There we go. No problems. For a minute I thought there was a whole bunch of those mice climbing that tree. That scared the bejesus out of me. Okay. <laughs> Apparently my sneak skill seems to be alright. Let's get a good wind up. And... <laughs> Nothing going on here. Nothing to see. He got a shot off on me. At least I thought he did. I didn't hear the other guy. But one good smack and he was down. You don't have any good items? Really? And that, I bet, makes noise, too. Where's the other dude? I can see a red... red bar... oh, there it is. There he is. Get back in here. I wonder if I can sneak up behind him on plain ground. My sneak is not good. And... <laughs> okay! It worked good! And they didn't have... Where's this head? Don't look at that. It's fine. I'm sure we'll come across the head somewhere. It's, a, it's around here. I see another red mark on my, my little mini-map thing. It should be right down there. Oh, there it is. Marauder Goon. Alright, we're going to try going around this side. And sneaking up on him and giving him a good wallop on the head. And uh, it, while we're doing... Oh, wait. Can I, like, sneak around back here? Into some long grass. Oh. Oh, he's over there. See, now, I wonder if they have logic uh, with these guys so that if they find one of their dead dudes, if they end up, like, alerting stuff. Get to 
wear a helmet. Indeed, it is good to wear a helmet. <laughs> you don't want to lose your head over it. Ah! Okay. He's got a saber as well, which implies melee combat of some sort. I'm just going to try walking up to the guy. Big wind up and... Just to make sure. Okay, yep. He's down. See, his head is fine. It's just the one guy happened to, you know, get a little carried away with stuff. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to be doing a lot of sneaking um, throughout this play. Uh, I just figured I would give it a go and see how things went. Because, you know, it's early days. Ah! Ow. Really? <laughs> there are a couple people there. I don't know if they're friendly or not. Actually, I've seen a little hey, tiny bit of the demo. Get over here before you get yourself killed. Okay, I'm coming. How can I help you? Lieutenant Mercer. <laughs> don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. <laughs> right. Yes, Spacer's Choice. Um, just a landing violation, so I heard I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders, not impressed. Hmm. Maybe, yeah. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. Yeah. I just, you know. Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. <laughs> sure she does. I bet you can get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. I guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction. Nah. Don't worry, you sit tight, I'll handle it. No, coward, I'll do it myself. No. Persuade. Do Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? <laughs> they seem to be really into themselves. That's, that seems like a very easy gimme. Well, sometimes... Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation... Darn skippy. You know what? You're right. I it's am. time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. <laughs> then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. You go get them. Go get them. Oh, there's, there's a dude there. What am I doing with? I'm just gonna kind of do pincher attack. Blood! Hi, how are you? Oh. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> oh god. Ooh. <laughs> You're next. Oh, there we go. Another one down. Oh god. F T <laughs> Down. Okay. Little bit ahead of myself here. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Who's shooting me? Oh, you're over there. This is what happens when you end up getting a little carried away here. Can I actually go into my inventory and it pauses time? Just like in like carbohydrates, last two minutes. Can I can I eat that? Use. There we go. I'll do a, one of those. I've got more space of choice uh, of, of those. Let's quick inject another health pack and have some bread. What happened to the lady and her robot? Did they just get, like, spaced? Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Fine. You want it your way? We'll do it your way. There we go. <laughs> he only had like a sliver of health left because I nailed him with the hammer earlier. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep that up. What do we got? Pistol? We've got nothing. i just grab all that. And then, oh, there's a... Aww. Canid. Okay. And that's the dude right there. Give me all your stuff. Let's go see if we can find that lady. See if she survived. Oh, there's her robot. Oh, no, that's not a robot. He had heavy ammo, though. Oh, lady. A light assault rifle. Do mind if I do? Let's check that out, shall we? Let's go to guns. 
Put this up here. 180 DPS. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. That's at 100. This is at 54. 180. Oh, and you can see that the wrench is like dropping. Its condition is dropping quickly. Okay, so this is these are not lasting very long. So let's see how this thing looks. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Looks nice. Poked in nose to see what it was. Have fun. We'll see you later, Gado. Thanks for stopping in. All right. Let's check out uh, Hawthorne's ship, which, uh, with any luck, will soon become my ship because I don't have one and I have no place to go. Okay. Jeez, okay. That was really loud. You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations, you've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. All right, let's do this. And then you have an unlocked perk. Go to the perks tab. Skill improvements! Every time you level up, you earn skill points. Spending a skill point on a core skill melee improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Wait, so then that's not a maximum of 50, right? Oh, specialized skills. Okay. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts. Skill checks. The skills pass and bonuses but won't give you or take any skill unlocks. Work diligently, approve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. <laughs> All right. So I have 10 points available. I've got a bonus on my one-handed melee. Is that from my armor? Oh, the mining helmet. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just finished the tutorial. <laughs> Heavy weapons. Unlock TTD location hit effects. I'm going to probably want to up that a little bit if I can. Oh, it's just all of them, isn't it? When I do that. Defense, dialogue, stealth, tech, leadership, etc. Okay. So sometimes it's good, sometimes... So if I choose one of them, does that use, like, two? No, it uses... It uses one. That's really good. Okay. So then what do I have here? Ranged. 19, 16. Uh, I can get heavy weapons up. Four. There we go. So that gets me to 20 on that one. Which unlocks the hit location effects. All right. Defense. Block. And dodge. That might be a good idea because right now, up to 50 points each, which I don't know what they do. Increase the distance traveled when dodging and reduces the duration of harmful status effects. Block. Armor rating while holding a melee weapon and can allow a perfect block. Okay, that might actually be a good idea. Just before you get hit to stagger your attacker. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Can I take that one back? Um, revert. Revert. Hold on. Uh, that's X. There we go. And then put it all into... That's still not going to be enough. Let's take that off. We'll put defense so I can get that perfect block. That I think that's going to be really important. Still got two-handed melee is up there. Everything else is still good. So I'm probably just going to put the rest in ranged because I'm one away from heavy weapons. I don't even have a heavy weapon yet. So we'll just apply that. Oh, wait, we've got perks. No. Back. Apply. Unable to undo point allocations. Yes. Perks. Welcome to perk selection. On the screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. You can be the very best, too. Okay. Toughness. You've grown healthier. 50% 50 50 base health? Wow. 25% tactical time dilation meter max. Oh, that allows me more bullet time. Inspiration comes from many places. 
25% damage on a loan in a party. I don't know if I'm, I'm doing a party or not. Strider, years of adrenaline time used to have permanent walk speed up. Sprint speed. Oh, those might be good for closing the gap for melee smash. Um, weapon armor dur durability loss. That seems to be important as well. <laughs> Doggone it, they're all really good. Vendor prices, companion kills. Fast travel when encumbered. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Tactical time dilation, recharge rate goes up. Carrying capacity, ammo, consumable generation stock on vendors, and five armor, base armor rating. Huh, interesting. I, I'm going to say that uh, I, I might be needing this health because I'm, I'm terrible at watching my health meter. Or the speed. Let's do the health. Extra 50 hit point, 50% 50 hit points sounds good to me. And I only had the one perk, right? Yep. Okay. Apply. Accept. Nothing really crazy. There were no negatives on that one I saw, though. Details, reputation. Okay. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's work. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. <laughs> I just found a sawed-off shotgun. Come on, lady. <laughs> um, I feel I feel the need. The, the need to replace this <laughs> and uh, I don't know if that that's gonna count as a long gun or a heavy weapon at this point this is broken wait what what's broken keeping your company gear in tip-top shape is expected and sometimes you're carrying needs repair you can repair weapons and armor at a workbench which I was just at Using weapon and armor parts, get them from breaking down unwanted items. Players with engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. Repairing an item returns to 100% durability and full effectiveness, ready to cause or prevent maximum damage. Is this broken? 5%. Okay. Uh, so may maybe I try fixing it. Workbench. Allows you to repair and upgrade stuff. Yep. First, select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on. Then choose what you want it to do. Want to do to it? Repair it. Break it down for parts. Modify it with modder tinker to upgrade it. Okay, so we've got the where is it? Shotgun. Um, install. Well, oh, no, no, no. We want repair. There we go. Shotgun. <laughs> do I not have enough items or whatever? Repair is just E. Your weapon parts, 15, which I can't repair it because I don't have enough weapon parts. Okay. All right, so then Tinker, break down. We can take one of these other weapons. This one here. Uh, it's at 95%, uh, 7%. I could probably just break down a couple of these. Do I get a specific amount of parts from them? I wonder. Uh, let's break one down. Three. All right, that should be enough. Your weapon part's 18, so I now can repair this. Except, nice. Armor, I have these, and they're fine. Modify, can I modify this? I'd, I'd have to install a mod, which we don't have any modifications. But still, good to know what's tinkering. You have not yet unlocked the ability to tinker. Upgrade your science skill to tinker, okay. Uh, I don't want to... S s <laughs> it's got reverse controls for Minecraft. So when you press control, you crouch. And when you sneak, uh, you're running. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, you lock on to ladders. Okay. What is that? And are these openable? No. Please be advised that using the respecification machine will not make you a better person. <laughs> Vocational competence respecification machine. This will allow me to reset my stats. I'm all right with my stats, actually. There's nothing over there. Was there anything over on the other side? Did I did I miss something? 
I should have just jumped down. But that I might have taken damage from that. Oh, that's that's the main computer right there. I think I came in from here. This is a big ship. All doors are on security lockdown. Yeah. Nice try, Marauder. <laughs> I'm no Marauder. Marauder, please be informed the ship has no crew for you to murder. Right, because I already did by accident by landing my space pod on them. <laughs> okay. There's no loot, right? And I found a shotgun already. There's no... yeah, sealed. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Let's let's go downstairs. I saw a, some kind of soda bottle up there. Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Right. Requires power regulator. Okay. I think she's actually right, though, at the moment. Marauder, please be informed this ship does not possess a working power regulator for you to steal. <laughs> Jeez, so rude. <laughs> yeah, it is a space version of, of Fallout. Very much so. Really? This camera? <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to the lady. Uh, it's, oh. I can open this one. Take that. And I don't have enough of those parts suddenly a pick unauthorized lock. access of spacefaring vessels is a crime please submit yourself to the authorities oh hi hello marauder hello i am ada the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel please be informed that i am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors as am i please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion I have been programmed to communicate with diplomacy and tact. Please allow me to demonstrate. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all boarding parties in five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the dumb one. Great, I'm getting shot into space twice in one day. If you are still here. My deception protocols have failed. <laughs> I have been programmed to express... Disappointment. Hmm. Is this Hawthorne's ship, or I need to get it in the air? Hmm. My character's not that smart. I'll go with the second option. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hmm. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. <laughs> you got it's a red smear on my escape pod. I will require some time to process this information. <laughs> Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. Aww. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I will I will be dumb. Excellent. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Uh, oh, I, I, it's like if I see the ability there, I tend to want to use it, you know? Astutely observed. However, <laughs> the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. Mm. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Ooh. Please try not to lose it this time. I will put that this on. cartridge identifies on. you, Alex Hawthorne, <laughs> as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. It's Do called you Unreliable. <laughs> Do I Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. You got it, Ada. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. Thanks. That that doesn't that doesn't help any. Alright. 
So I do see at the top it says spacebar times two. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Uh, yes, I have found this already. You know, I wonder if those sealed doors... Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Right, okay. So I need to go back out and find the local settlement and, and get 